we're back with another reaction on this channel, man. Look, we're about to be going on a nitrous marathon. No cap, I'm posting multiple videos a day, every single day for the rest of the month, for the rest of the motherfucking year. I'm not taking a break, bro. I came back revitalized. You feel me? But check me out. Today we have right here a TikTok compilation. I haven't reacted to a TikTok compilation in a minute. You feel me? Because I'm TikTok just be hitting them dances and shit. I don't know if I like watching that anymore. But this video right here is called... What is something that people glamorize that is just toxic? Now, this is the part two. Let me know in the comment section and leave a like down below if y'all want me to watch the part one. But, um, you feel me? There's always a little bit of toxic in everybody. <laughs> it all just it all just depends on uh, the level of toxic toxicity that you're trying to get into, man. But I'm not going to speak so much. We're about to hop right into it, man. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe. But let's get it. What's something that people glamorize that's actually just extremely toxic? Let's talk about it. Monogamy. Stick with me. I know this sounds a little out of pocket. However, I feel like the normalized standard of monogamous relationships is rooted in toxicity. I feel like a lot of modern day monogamous relationships are rooted in possession, aggression, and this idea of unconditional love and finding your other half, which is just not healthy. We are whole individuals. We are sexual, romantic beings. There are so many different types of soul ties, soul mates, relationships that you could make with other individuals. And honestly, I think we're the only animal species to be monogamous and to have a heteronormative agenda. However, that's a whole separate issue. So what you're telling me is that it's okay if I crack down a seven different this right here. That, is that what y'all telling me? It, it's okay. Listen, I don't even think I would want to do that, have my beef fall off by the time that I'm 30. I don't think I would want to do that respectfully. But this girl is saying that it's okay. Now, I find that interesting, man. Let me know how y'all feel about monogamous relationships in the comment section. Oh, yeah. Monogamy. What's something that people glamorize that's actually just extremely toxic? I've been waiting for this one. People in the arts who put their job before everything else in their life. I'll give you an example. I'll so I was a sound me. designer in college, one of the only ones, and my sound professor asked me to volunteer for a show that I hadn't volunteered for, and I let him know I would do it, but my sister's due date was during the run of the show, and I really didn't want to miss it. She's my only sibling. It was her first kid. He tells me it's fine. Fast forward, and she literally has her kid during a show one night, so I missed that show, as I warned him about. I was literally still in the hospital, and I receive an email from my sound professor letting me know that I have to send a formal apology to the entire theater department for letting everyone down. I was doing this for free, mind you. Next day, the stage manager pulls me aside and tells me I have to make sacrifices like big family events if I ever want to go anywhere in this field because that's what it takes. Excuse me, I'm a college student not getting paid a cent. Long story short, I do have a career in the arts and I have fine work-life balance because my job isn't my entire existence. What's something that people respect I respect that. actually just extremely toxic? The idea that you guys need to be obsessed with each other when you're in a relationship. Well, examples is that apparently we have to text each other every day, all day long. And if we don't text back within a reasonable amount of time or we don't explain why we didn't text back, then all of a sudden that means we're not into you anymore. If you're not texting each fact, other, then you're probably bro. on Facebook. That is a major fact. Every single, every single person I talk to, before talking to them, I always let them know, bro, listen, just know. I have a lot of things on my plate in terms of like working YouTube and other shit that I'm doing, forks and shit like that. If I don't respond in 20 minutes, don't get mad at me. I'll call you later. You feel me? We'll, we'll, we'll have a conversation about how our day went. You feel me? But having a constant conversation throughout the day, I don't feel like it's necessary. Let's continue. Until your phone dies or you're on FaceTime until you fall asleep. And some people like to be on FaceTime while they're asleep, which is kind of weird, but okay. Basically, dedicating That's all me, your time to your significant other. That's I kind of unhealthy. Because imagine phone. you dedicated I'm so much time up. and energy to a relationship that you had nothing else going on in your life. You're going to feel so broken if that relationship fails because you got way too attached. That's a fact, though. What's something that people glamorize that's actually just extremely toxic? Having relationships in middle school and high school. What? I was listening to this pop- She looked like she had no boyfriend, no nothing, bro. That's once on- and Like, how would you say that? I feel like high school, middle school- Middle school is too young, but high school is like when you first start getting involved with, like, guys, girls, and shit. That's where you start experimenting. I feel like- I don't want to say it's necessary, but that's like the perfect time, perfect age, I, I feel. Life kid, like, and they're talking about junior year type a lot of relationships girl. in high school and middle school are abusive because a you don't know how to love yourself it's like peak time of insecurity and b because they don't see a lot of love at home so they don't know how to love others and and 
films and TV and books, they glamorize these relationships. But the truth is, is that a lot of those relationships scar you for life. And they put you on a path of like more toxic relationships until you realize that, damn, that relationship I had at 12 was not healthy. (laughs) When I look back at the relationships I saw at the time, they were not okay. Like arguing at eight o'clock in the morning, putting your partner in a corner and like talking mean to them. It was not it. What's what something type of relationship that people glamorize doing, that's actually uh, is extremely toxic? I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. Relationships. And let me explain why. By no means am I saying that relationships are toxic. But what I am saying is that society and social media's obsession with relationships, yeah, that's not healthy at all. It's as though everyone is more focused on the cute pictures and the matching outfits and being able to say you have someone than actually assessing and considering who you have. Daniel Sloss said it best, if you haven't seen his jigsaw stand up on Netflix, look it up now. There's people out here trying to force things that should not be forced with one another because they would much rather have somebody than nothing at all. I don't think y'all understand. There are really couples out here who don't need to be together, should not be together, but they stay together because their cute couple pics go viral. That's a fact. (laughs) And the obsession the idea of being single being a flaw. It's getting weird. What's something that people glamorize that's actually just extremely toxic? Hustle culture. This idea passed around hustle culture. What you mean hustle culture, nigga? If you don't want to get money, then just say that then. Listen, niggas like me want to get money. I'm hustling all day. Let's continue. The insta girlies and the boss babes. That we need to be constantly working, constantly improving, constantly moving to reach those goals. All this does is reinforces the idea that we need to work ourselves to the bone in order to be successful or have a meaningful life. But listen here, Michaela, we're all just a clump of cells sat on a big fat rock that's hurling its way through space. Take a break. Listen, what? man, if you want to believe him, you could you could say that. All I know is this. This huge composition of cells would love to live a luxurious life. <laughs> I would love to live a luxurious life. While I'm here on this big fat rock that we call Earth, I would love to live a magnificent life. I don't think hustle culture is necessarily toxic. I think to the extent of which you dedicate your time, it can be t- become toxic, no cap. Because if you sit down every single day and you feel like you're not successful because you haven't achieved certain goals, then that's when it becomes toxic. But to sit down and have goals and execute those goals and continue working to better yourself every day, that's the, that's the one and only thing that we have in life. That is our purpose in life, just to become the better version of ourselves. That's just what I think. Let's continue. Thing that people glamorize that's actually just extremely toxic. So I guess you could say I'm a, like a relationship TikToker. And something that I see often are like these videos where it'll be like first year in a relationship and then second, third, fourth year in a relationship. And as time goes on, you know, they're less and less affectionate. They're like sitting on opposites, opposite ends of the couch. They're on their phones, not paying attention to each other. And so I don't know if this is so much glamorized, but it's definitely something that gets perpetuated online, that like the longer you're in a relationship, the less loving it is. And I think that's unfortunate. And I wouldn't call it toxic, but I would definitely call it like discouraging to people. Um, it probably scares some people. And that's why I put like the content that I do out there because I want to show that like you can still be in love if you're in a long-term relationship. And I'll- That's true, man. It's not always the funniest, but I do think it's important to show like healthy, loving relationships, and that's what I try to do. That's a fact, man. Look, I'm gonna end this video right here. It seems to be a lot of content related to relationships, just like that. If you guys do want to continue watching, though, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, there is a part one, so we could definitely watch the part one. But look at her face, though. You feel me? <laughs> look at her face, though. I'm getting I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting tired of it. I feel like move on to the next. You know what I'm saying? But check me out. That's going to be the end of this video right here, man. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you do leave a like down below, subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one, bro. Peace.